Are you watching the Olympics right now at all? Bro, I watched that fucking transgender woman boxer b- box the female boxer. I'm like, what I the didn't... fuck are you people doing? What? Oh, uh, honestly, dude. I haven't I haven't seen much. Every bar or whatever, and I- anything that has a television right now, I've been traveling, so I see like Olympics is on everywhere, yeah. right? But one thing that I da- that I've noticed, it's like it's so weird. It seems like the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I was seeing all these like crazy outfits and just yeah. like oh, you know, this like extravagant thing. I'm like, this is the Olympics now. Like, why is this? It's yeah. so different now than it than what I remember it well, being. Well, the Olympics is a giant scam. There's two things going on simultaneously. Okay, you have the best athletes in the world participating in their disciplines. That's that's happening. And then on top of that, you have enormous amounts of money being made, and none of it's going to the athletes. It is a giant scam. So the kind of people that are putting together that ridiculous opening ceremony where you got a bunch of drag queens and the Last Supper and all that Yeah, well, I didn't understand that. Nobody understands it because it's not made by athletes. It's not made by the Olympics. It's made by the people that are in charge of putting the Olympics out. So they're the ones who are reaping all the money and sucking all the cash out of these athletes. Got it. Not only do they do that, but then they'll go to places like Brazil. And so if it's going to be in Brazil, they build this enormous place for it to, to participate in, to all the different arenas where yeah, different roads. people do their thing. <laughs> and then after that, nothing. It's, yeah. So gone. And then all the people there who are poor are like, hey, where the fuck did this money come from? And why didn't you just spend it on this the community? Why mm-hmm. did you do this? Yeah. Why'd you do this for volleyball? Like, uh. is volleyball that important that you didn't like use that money to like help people? Yeah, that's, bizarre. That sucks. The money they make is astronomical. The Olympics makes billions and billions of money in television revenue and advertising revenue, and they don't give any of it to the athletes. So it just goes to like the it Olympic to committee. They're just balling. Wow. Yeah, and these are the crazy people that are putting on the Last Supper with transsexuals. That's <laughs> that's what they're doing. Was it the Last Supper? Yeah, I saw it was something out like Fuck it was. It said something that, like the some Greek uh, nonsense. That was a, they tried to say that after the fact. The lady who was playing Jesus literally said she was Olympic Jesus. She was joking around about being Olympic Jesus because she was in the same position Jesus was in in the Last Supper. Yeah. She had the halo behind her head. It was, they're being artsy. They're yeah. being fun. You know, but it's not, it's not the place for it. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's pushing this weird agenda in this place where people are already getting over, right? The whole Olympics is just people getting over. Yeah, I mean, if you're the best athletes in the world representing your country. Yeah. At the highest level. The highest level. That possibly, humanly possible. For one, yeah, you should be getting compensated. A shitload of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? A shitload of money. You should be getting compensated. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think that there should be something that's more focused on the extravagance of like this moment of yes. like the, the, the athletes yes. waiting so long to be able to do this. And yeah, it should be more athlete focused for yeah, sure. They just, and not so much like a show. Or they like let this, some like, wacky gay dude get a hold of the fin- the reins and he decided to do this. And that's what it was. <laughs> It's literally what it is. It's literally what it is. And he just decided Joe to have a, Rogan. a guy in a beard. But this is true. I mean, yeah, this yeah. is the actual person that put it together. That is that is who he is. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I didn't even oh, know Oh, yeah, that. they know who the guy is. I mean, we don't need to name him. But okay. He's just getting enough hate as it is. But the wow. whole thing's completely insane. But my point is the whole Olympics are insane. They're robbing people. They're robbing the athletes. No one is tuning in. There's not billions of people all over the world tuning in just to see a bunch of transsexuals pretend to be Jesus and the and the disciples. That's not why they're tuning in. They're tuning in to see who's going to win the 100 meter dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's going to win this? Who's going to win that? Who's going to win the sprints? Who's going to win whatever the fin event is? Who's going to win boxing? That's what people are tuning in. And those people that are have dedicated their entire lives to wrestle in the Olympic Games, they're not getting a f- scratch of that. That's so crazy. It's nuts. Oh man. So it's nuts. And there's nothing there's nothing to do about it. like nobody can do anything about that. It's just pure chaos. Well, at one point in time, there was no money in the Olympics because there was no television, right? Okay, yeah. So at one point in time, the Olympics was just about the best athletes in the world competing against the other athletes, best athletes in the world. It was for national pride. You know, you bring a gold medal, you have a fun parade when you get back home. It was great. And yeah. there was Probably very, I don't know what the original, like, 
the one where Hitler was in the 1936 Olympics and he's jacked up on meth and he's rocking back and forth. What? Have you seen that one? No, dude. You never saw that? <laughs> no, you're putting me on so oh, much game right now. You on this, bro. <laughs> you're putting me on so much. Yo, I got a guy coming on tomorrow to actually talk about drugs in the Nazis, like all the the crazy drugs that they were doing. They had to be on drugs. All kinds of stuff. For all sure. All kinds of cocaine. They were getting free drugs. Meth. Yeah, yeah they, they, they were, were getting doing, free drugs. And there was no just say no back then. Everybody's like, what does this do? Keeps me up for days? Let's go. Yeah. Bang. <laughs> 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 So Hitler at the Munich Olympics is like, he's on meth and he's rocking back and forth. He's just amphetamined out of his mind, just coked up, just rocking back and forth while everybody's watching the Olympics. What? Show it to him, Jamie. Yeah, we need to see this. <laughs> We've played this like, look at oh him. Oh my him. God. Look at him rocking, dude. Look at him going. He's going. Oh, what a he's maniac. going. That what dude ruined, a maniac. He ruined that mustache forever.